ಸೇಸ್ ಯಾ ದೇವಿ ಸರ್ವಭೂತೇಶು ಮಾತೃರೂಪೇಣ ಸಂಸ್ಥಿತ ನಮಸ್ತೈ 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 ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ದಟ್ ಮದರ್ ಹು ರಿಸೈಡ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಎಸ್ ದಿ ಮದರ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ದ ಒನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಹೂಮ್ ದ ಹೋಲ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಷನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಇಮರ್ಜ್ ಟು ಹರ್ ವಿ ಬೌ ಡೌನ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ಇಸ್ ಮಾತೃ that is the beginning and the end of all creation but we have different mothers to worship not just one mother because she resides in all as the mother the shakti one mother is the deha mata whom we are born from who carries in her womb for 9 months bears with all the pain and difficulties to give birth to us so she is the deha mata the mother physical mother then we drink milk from her we grow and after that the next mother which gives milk to us is go mata the mother cow she feeds us selflessly with her milk then the baby grows further and then we do anna prashna then the baby needs to eat grains food can't live on milk forever so then bhu mata comes into picture she starts feeding us with all kinds of produces all her creation fruits vegetables grains pulses and we eat all that and we grow further but then till here all the three mothers are only helpful in our physical growth you now we can grow physically all animals also have these three mothers they also grow physically after that that is not enough if we grow physically the next mother comes into picture to grow us intellectually that is veda mata the mother of all the knowledge gayatri mata as we say dhiyo yona prachodaya bless our intellect that it shines with the knowledge of the self the effulgent one we pray bhur bhu haswah tat savitur varenyam bhargo devasya dimahi dhiyo yona prachodaya bless us that our intellect shine with the knowledge of the self knowledge of divinity so veda mata is the one who turns us from from animal to human because as animals we eat and we grow but we grow intellectually we can think and put efforts on spiritual path only with the grace of veda mata gayatri we say after that comes the daiva mata she is also the atma swarupini again mahatyam says atma rupena samstita the one who resides in all as the atma swarupini to that mother also we bow down so that is how all these are considered as mothers and god's purest energy reflects in the nature as mother we call mother nature mother earth mother india mother tongue so therefore that is the idea is that mother's nature should be selfless she always gives and never asks for anything back she always gives and forgives that is the nature of mother that is the nature of divine and therefore it's so much of importance given of course at this point of time in bhadrapada masam today when we tritiya we worship mother it's also to seek prosperity in nature prosperity of health long life 
prosperity for our family members and all the people vasudeva kutumbakam for all people we seek blessings from her so that is the reason we do these pujas it should not be done with the selfish motive of i and my family that's not enough we should think of all the beings in the world who should be safe healthy happy prosperous without any sorrow and that blessing is what we have to seek of mother so we worship her with that but she also represents the primordial energy from which everything has emanated tripura sundari the mother of all the three worlds they say jagrata avastha swapna avastha susupti avastha through all this waking dreaming and sleeping stages of our lives the consciousness which remains same that pure unsullied consciousness is also represented by the mother tripura sundari we worship her in all different ways and these are nothing but opportunities for us to remind ourselves that we are divine and that the purpose of life is to realize this divinity as the same divine which resides in all we are one and the same with these reminders these festivals are celebrated not simply to wear good clothes eat good food sing songs do ratham and then eat two days fill and then sleep that is not the idea of doing pujas and rathas idea is to remind ourselves of the greater truth that is there so we worshiping all these young girls considering as mothers considering that divinity resides in them too so we worship them as divine incarnations such a beautiful beautiful culture of our yatra narayastu pujyante ravante tatra devata where women are worshiped as mothers as divine incarnations all the gods come and reside in that place they say yatra tanste na pujyante sarvatra aphalah kriya all that we do will become a failure will meet with failure if we don't worship women as mothers in our society so that is our culture no other culture has such such depth of understanding of human societies especially worship of women and no other culture has recognized women the way indian culture has recognized since ancient times and the most beautiful way of recognizing them is the very mothers the very form of the mother that is how women are recognized in india is such a beautiful holy culture unfortunately with the passage of time things have changed and human beings are looked upon as only pieces of flesh but not as the divine incarnations that is the culture that needs to change it also is very important for the women to keep up the dignity of being a woman that's very important how you dress i say kattu bottu juttu these three things define you kattu means what is the what clothes you wear how you wear it with dignity i'm not saying you should not have style but style with dignity then bottu the way you dress, way you decorate yourself you see we put a bottu here for most of the people but that is our culture and there is a significance of putting the bottu you see this is the third eye what we call as gyana chakshu or what we call the agni chakra that has to be protected from evil energy so we put this we do puja to mother and put this telukam somebody put for me also so they put this because that is a way to protect your own positive energy and not a, contaminate it with the negative energy that flows everywhere so to protect the gyana chakshu men put vibhuti women put kumkuma or anything like that chandanam some way we want to protect that place so that is why it was done so cut to bottu and juttu juttu means your hair the the kind of hair that you carry the kind the way you dress up all this is part of your culture but i always like women to be dressed very dignified way in a dignified way i understand you are a doctor you are a police woman or you are an army or you are having some dress code as per your whatever the you know your professions are i fully understand that at that point of time it's okay but whenever you get back to your own self normal self that is you when you you just you are so always dress modestly in a dignified way in in line with the culture of our country because this is what we are recognized for what we wear how we speak what we eat 
this is the reflection of the deep culture that we all have in our hearts outside is only reflection of the inside so it is my appeal that while we want to worship everybody as the mother you should also behave like mothers both internally and externally internally by developing selfless love for all externally by dressing moving around behaving conducting yourselves in accordance with that divinity that you are endowed with same thing applies to men also men also have to do the same but they are also divine incarnations they also have to accordingly behave and conduct themselves so this is a beautiful culture we are a part of and these festivals are nothing but celebration of this wonderful indian culture and spirituality and i'm very happy that young, young children also are getting to celebrate and they are also learning this culture this should pass on this parampara should pass on from one generation to the other